powerful healing prayer for a loved one. Are you standing in the gap today, desperate for a breakthrough in your loved one's health? It can be overwhelming to watch someone you care about struggle with illness, pain, or affliction. But take heart. God is still Jehovah Rapha, our healer. His healing power wasn't just for the days of old. It's alive and active today. The Bible assures us in James 5 verse 15, And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up. So as we approach the throne of grace, let us pray boldly, trusting that God can heal, restore, and bring wholeness to our loved ones right now. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts full of hope, lifting up our loved one who needs your divine healing touch. You are the creator of all things, the one who formed our bodies with such precision, and you know every detail of our being. You are not only able, but also willing to heal. For you are the Lord who heals all our diseases. Psalm 103, verse 3. We thank you that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13, verse 8. And we believe that your healing power is still active and available to us right now. Lord, you see the pain, the discomfort, and the distress that our loved one is facing. You are aware of every symptom, every medical report, and every diagnosis that has been given. But we choose to believe in your report, Lord, for you said in Isaiah 53, verse 5, By his stripes we are healed. We stand on this promise, Father, and we declare it over our loved one's body, mind, and spirit. We ask that you touch them right now, from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet, bringing complete restoration and renewed strength. Jesus, you bore our sicknesses and carried our pains on the cross, and you have given us the authority to claim healing in your name. So in the name of Jesus, we rebuke every spirit of infirmity, disease, and affliction that is attacking our loved one's body. We command it to leave right now, and we declare that the body must come into alignment with the Word of God. We speak life, health, and vitality into every organ, tissue, and cell. We decree that the immune system is strengthened, that pain is disappearing, and that energy is being restored. Lord, your word says in Jeremiah 30, verse 17, For I will restore health to you, and I will heal you of your wounds. We ask for your healing to be manifested in every area of our loved one's body that needs a touch from you. Let your healing virtue flow like a river, bringing peace to their mind, calming their spirit, and relieving any anxiety or fear that may be weighing them down. We ask for healing not only for the physical body, but also for the soul, bringing emotional and mental wholeness to our loved one. Father, we pray for wisdom for the medical professionals who are caring for our loved one. Give the doctors, nurses, and caregivers divine insight, skill, and compassion as they treat our loved one. We ask that you would guide their hands open their understanding, and lead them to the right diagnosis, treatment, and medication that will facilitate the healing process. Let there be a supernatural unity among the medical team, allowing them to work together effectively and efficiently. Lord, we lift up the caregivers and family members who are supporting our loved one during this time. We pray for supernatural strength and endurance for them. For we know that watching someone suffer can be exhausting and emotionally draining. Encourage their hearts, Lord, and remind them that you are with them, even in the waiting. You are the God of all comfort, and we ask that you would surround them with your peace that surpasses all understanding, Philippians 4, verse 7. Father, we speak against any discouragement, hopelessness, or despair that may be trying to settle in our loved one's heart. We declare that hope is rising up, for we know that you are a God of miracles, and nothing is too difficult for you. Jeremiah 32, verse 27. We pray for a fresh wave of faith to fill our loved one's spirit, empowering them to believe for total healing and restoration. Give them the courage to hold on to your promises, Lord, even when circumstances seem bleak. We know that faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen, Hebrews 11.1. 1. 
and we declare that their faith will not waver, but will be strengthened during this season. Lord, we also pray against any generational curses, spiritual attacks, or any other spiritual influences that may be contributing to this illness. In the name of Jesus, we break every curse, every negative word spoken, and every chain of bondage that has tried to attach itself to our loved one. We declare that they are free, redeemed, and washed by the blood of Jesus. We speak divine protection over their mind and body, claiming your word that says the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3. Father, we thank you for the testimonies of healing that are already happening in the lives of others, and we stand on those testimonies as a witness to your healing power. We pray that you would do the same for our loved one, bringing a miraculous recovery that will be a testament to your glory and your mercy. We ask for a healing that is so complete and undeniable that it will cause those around to marvel and give glory to your name. Let your healing be a testimony that will inspire faith in others who are facing similar challenges. Lord, we know that sometimes healing is a process, and we ask for patience and perseverance for our loved one as they walk through this journey. Let them not grow weary in seeking you, for your word assures us that those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, Isaiah 40, verse 31. We pray that you would give them the grace to trust you in the waiting, knowing that your timing is perfect and your ways are higher than ours. Father, we commit this situation fully into your hands. We surrender our fears, our doubts, and our anxieties, choosing to place our trust in you alone. We believe that you are not only able to heal, but that you desire to heal. For you are a good father who loves to give good gifts to his children. Matthew chapter 7, verse 11. We praise you in advance for the healing that is coming, for we know that your word never returns void. Isaiah 55, verse 11. We declare that our loved one is healed, whole, and restored in the name of Jesus. We believe that their testimony of healing is on the way, and we give you all the glory, honor, and praise for what you are doing and will continue to do. We ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our healer and redeemer. Amen. As we place our trust in God's healing power and stand in faith for the health of our loved ones, let us also begin each day with intention and prayer. Don't forget to like our channel for more inspiring prayers and spiritual insights that can uplift and transform your day-to-day -day journey with God. Also, if you are looking to start your day grounded in God's presence and seeking His guidance from the sunrise, please join us with this video, Morning Prayer, to start your day with God. This prayer is designed to equip you with the peace and strength needed for the day ahead. Thank you for watching, and stay blessed.